There's lots of talk these days about detoxing, but talk is cheap. Our liver is actually doing it all day, every day. And if we want to detoxify, the best thing we can do is boost our liver's own detoxifying enzymes. And sulforaphane is the most potent natural phase II enzyme inducer known. That's one of our liver's detoxification systems. So where do we find this stuff? Broccoli, which produces more than any other known plant in the world. In micromoles per gram seed fresh weight, broccoli's number one. Then kohlrabi and cauliflower gets the bronze. Broccoli is an exceptional source of sulforaphane, but at the same time there's none actually in the vegetable, until you bite it. You know those chemical flares, or glow sticks, where you snap them and two chemicals in two different departments mix and sets off a reaction? Broccoli does the same thing. In one part of the cell it keeps an enzyme called myrosinase, and in another part it keeps something called glucoraphanin. Uh, there is no sulforaphane, which is what we want, anywhere in the broccoli until some herbivore starts chewing on the poor thing. Cells get crushed, the enzyme mixes with the glucoraphanin, which is a type of glucosinolate, and sulforaphane is born. And the herbivore is like, ew, this tastes like broccoli, and runs away. The plant uses it as a defense against you know, nibblers and noshers. Little did broccoli count on a little lemon juice and some garlic, maybe a little tahini dressing. It's our counterattack. Just make sure to chew, otherwise you won't get as much of that magical mixture. In this study, they had people just swallow broccoli sprouts whole, day one, and got some action. Obviously their stomach stepped in and did a little churning, but on day three, when they actually got to chew their sprouts, you can see significantly more got absorbed into their bodies. Chew it or lose it.